I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Uh, I'm doing better now. Uh, my career's going okay. I uh, just moved out of a 250 square foot apartment. Thank you. 250 square feet. And if you don't understand how to calculate square footage, you know, because I didn't when I read the ad, my microwave was my bedroom clock. Every night before I went to bed, I just set my alarm for eight hours. On potato. Oh my God, the best sleep. <laughs> On potato. <laughs> Moved in with my girlfriend, that's nice, you know? And uh, when you move in with somebody uh, that you love, you have to make a lot of concessions. A lot of concessions. My major concession was that I inherited two cats. Two cats, yeah, yeah. And I always grew up with dogs, I always preferred dogs over cats, you know, because I like it when your pets love you back. I don't understand why you want to pay for something to ignore you around your own house. Cat people, they don't like that. They're like, hey, I'd hate to own a dog. They're so high maintenance. Why would you want to own a dog? They're, every morning you got to wake up. Every morning you got to wake up. You got to wake up. Then you got to take it outside and, and let it poop outside your home. I want to keep the poop inside my home. I want to store it in a sandbox. Just own a sandbox of poo and pee in the same house that I breathe in. I live in a one bedroom apartment now. There's no convenient out of the way locale for a sandbox of poo and pee. Probably like, hey Graham, you should just put it in your closet. Only problem is I often wear clothes. I'm almost always wearing clothes. These cats, they don't have cool names either. They're named, named by my girlfriend way before I got there. Like my buddy, he, he's a dude, he's got a cat. His cat's name is Police Academy 4. That's fun. That's just fun to say. My cat's names are Kitty and Handsome. Kitty and Handsome. Do you know how emasculating that is? Now part of my day, every day, is saying the word handsome in an angry voice. And my girlfriend has a day job. So the retired neighbors next door in the apartment, they don't hear any of their voices. And they don't know we have cats, it's an apartment. They just hear me alone in there, just handsome. Handsome. Oh, handsome. You dirty, dirty boy. You pooped on the carpet again, didn't you, handsome? You filthy boy. Susan, we gotta move. That narcissist next door is pooing on his own carpet again. And then reprimanding himself in the mirror. Well, he's not that handsome. He's a little, but he's not that handsome. Just a little. My girlfriend helps me save money. She gives me good advice. She's like, she's like, hey, Graham, um, you should ride your bicycle more to commute. You know, you'll save some money. It'll be great. Get in shape. I was like, great. Great idea, it was a great idea, I have to admit that. Great idea, great idea. Until last November, when I fell off my bike and broke both of my arms at the same time. That's a true story. I don't know if you guys have ever broken both of your goddamn arms before. But I'm here to tell you, you're gonna wanna stagger the brakes by a little. Ease into no arms in your life. You wanna quit arms cold turkey?
Because they're very good at fixing you at the hospital. They are. They're good at fixing you. But they are not good at telling you how to live your life sans arms. <laughs> the nurse, a medical professional, put on my two slings. And she was like, uh, y you have no arms now. I don't know. And just walked away. <laughs> I was like, lady, get back here, please. I want you to live my life. I put these socks on this morning with arms. What's our exit plan for these socks, please? How am I going to get home? Ride the bus without being able to reach into my own pockets? It's like, hello. I am here to ride the bus, please. <laughs> oh, I have correct fare in one of four pockets. <laughs> so you're gonna have to root around for a little while. <laughs> See where this takes us, mister. I am strangely committed to paying this fare. just staring at the wall in the emergency room when she first gave the slings to me, like wondering, like, wait, how long is it that you have to date somebody before you can ask them to wipe your bum? It's not five months, I learned that. I learned that the hard way. You guys have been a great crowd. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, this this next performer. Um, every, every once in a while, uh, comedy clubs like to give like a, a new person uh, a break, and then you know the audience here asks to be like really like helpful, you know, because they're new. You know, this is not one of those acts. Uh, please welcome Arsenio Hall, everybody. Yeah. 